Hey guys, it's Emma. So today's video is going to be a what is on my iPhone video. I just got a brand new phone for my 17th birthday. If you watched my 17th birthday haul. So I wanted to do one of these videos for you guys because you guys always love, love, love when I do what's on my iPhone videos and I love watching these. These are one of my favorite videos to watch and just get new ideas for different apps and stuff like that. So yeah. I have the iPhone 8 Plus and it is in rose gold and it's the 256 gig one. Really quickly before we get on to today's video, if you guys have never seen my face before, totally subscribe if you would like to see more videos. I'm going to be doing so much more vlogging and just videos in general um, since summer is coming up. So subscribe and give this video a like and yeah. So without further ado, let's just get on with the video. So the phone case that I have on my phone is just this white and black marble case. It is a very simple and just very like sleek and I love it. It's very shiny and it is very durable and I love it. So this case was sent to me by Berga and um, they are so, so, so sweet. They reached out to me asking me to choose a few phone cases for them to send to me. So. I chose this white and black marble one as well as this pink and gold um, marble one. So I love these both. So thank you so much, Berga, for sending these to me. So I do have a coupon code for you guys to get 15% off your order at Berga. And the coupon code is just 15Emma and I will put it right here on the screen so you guys don't forget it. So I'm just going to show you what's on my iPhone. This is the first time that I've ever done screen recording. So let's hope it works. Okay, so when you first open my phone, this is what you see. My screensaver is just the Rainbow Room um, picture from NBC Studios from when I went to New York. It was one of my favorite trips ever, and I just, one of my dreams has always been to work like at NBC and stuff like that, so this is just a great reminder of that. And really quickly, my home screen just looks like this. It's the picture of the Dolby Theater, because that's another one of my major dreams, um, but yeah. So on the four little apps that I have down there, I have music, which by the way, you can follow my Apple Music if you want. I don't know how to show you guys that. It just looks like this. So this is my Apple Music. You guys can follow it if you would like. I don't know. I don't really have that great music days, but I have a few playlists that are just, you know, fun. Um, then I have a phone and then Instagram. Follow me if you would like. It's just at Emma Romano. Um, Snapchat, y'all can add me. It is that's my snap code it's just at it's Emma Kate so yeah look at this there we go that's us <laughs> um then we go over to my first page I just have messages photos calendar camera up top Safari face face tune no FaceTime iTunes store app store and then settings notes weather and mail and then clock and maps and then I have my first two folders so the first one is titled No Social Life. This is all my social media. So I have Twitter, which if you want to follow me, I have a lot of Twitter accounts. It might take me a sec to get to that. Nope, I'm already on that one. Okay, well, this is it. It is just at Emma Romano with two O's at the end because with one O was taken. Then I have Tumblr, which I absolutely never use, but I still have it. Facebook, Pinterest, you can follow me on there too. We're just gonna shout myself out really quickly. It's just at Emma Romano. Um, we heart it. I don't really use it that much anymore, but I used to use it a lot. And then obviously YouTube. Follow me on there. Subscribe to me. You know, it'll be great. Um, then I have photography. This is all the stuff that I use to like edit my photos, stuff like that. Facetune, Visco, which is kind of depressing. Everything deleted when I got a new phone, but these are all the things that I was editing. But you can follow me on Visco too if you want, because I've been... How do I get there? I've been editing a lot of stuff on there, so it's just Emma Romano with two O's at the end as well. But I've been uploading a lot of like pictures that don't make it to Instagram, so these are all like Park City stuff. So yeah. Then I have Shutterfly, which is just the thing that my family and I use to like kind of keep all of our pictures together and stuff like that. Um, Unum is great. I can't figure out how to log into it since I got a new phone. Like it asked me to log in, but then it won't let me log in. It's like a really long thing and it's really annoying. Um, Afterlight, Fonto is what I use sometimes to edit thumbnails, but you can also just add fonts to all of your different pictures and stuff like that. Hoojicam is what everybody has been using, you know what I mean, to like, oh, to like take a photo and then it makes it like this, <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, so it stops screen recording apparently when I went on Hoojicam, but um, when you go over to the next page, I have my everyday folder. And this has Fandango, which is what I used to buy movie tickets because I'm always at the movies, literally more than I'm at my own house. 
Then I have Time Hop, which I actually don't know if, I don't think I've set it up with my new phone yet. But you can basically look at different like milestones of photos that you take in or tweets or Facebook posts, stuff like that. So that's definitely fun to look back on. Ticketmaster and StubHub are both for concert tickets. You guys know I'm always at concerts. Um, T to zero is just a bunch of countdowns. So let's see what I have in here. I have 17. That was for my birthday. I can delete that. Um, Playlist Live is in one day. I'm very excited for that. Um, oh, okay. Mama F and Mia too. 85 days until Mama Mia Here We Go Again comes out. Um, 36 days till the last day of school. And then VidCon is in 55 days. Crazy. And then CMX is just another movie buying app thing for movie tickets. Then movies up top, DirecTV, that's just what I use to like record stuff. If I'm not gonna be home, I can record it on my TV. Um, TV is just like the generic app that the phone comes with, but I have a ton of my like TV shows downloaded on here. Oh my gosh, this is kind of embarrassing. A lot of these are from when I was little. Awesome Natalie dance moms. I bet I have like the first season of Fosters. That's crazy, season three, that was from so long ago. I have like every episode of Friends, um, Downton Abbey, yeah, we just, I don't even know what this is, couldn't even tell you. But I do have the best, um, this was the best episode of iCarly, do not at me. Netflix, obvious reasons, come on. Then I have food, Tropical Smoothie and Starbucks. Um, those both come in handy for like rewards points and stuff. Games, I have 100 picks, I haven't played this in a long time. Um, but it's basically, you can just like go on here and, um, okay. But you can go in here and it will show you 100 different pictures and you have to like guess what each thing is. So like I play with actresses and it shows, big, shows me a picture of an actress and I have to guess who it is and it's you know really easy. I'm pretty much already done with the game. But um, HQ, I'm sure you guys have heard of it. Um, you can play live and win money. Heads up, it's Ellen's game. Literally obsessed with it. I have every single like package and that's one of my most prized possessions. I have Temple Run and Subway Surf, basically the same thing, but I don't know. I can play those in airplanes and it's really fun. Then I have my school folder, which for some reason has the most apps in it and makes me mad. Um, calculator and iBooks, Google Classroom, I'm sure you guys have used that. Google Docs, I'm sure you guys have used that as well. College Hunch, I have been using to chat colleges and all the colleges I want to go to and stuff. So I have all my favorite ones and ones that I'm interested in and it kind of just gives you all the like stats. So like for University of California, Los Angeles, this is all like, oh my gosh, don't, the, that'll stress me out if I look at it. But it's all the different like 16% acceptance rate. That just adds so much stress to my life that I don't need. This app right here, don't even know how to pronounce it, it blocks the like school. I probably shouldn't be saying this because I'm sure a lot of my teachers and like APs watch my videos. but um. This can just block the VPN from school so I can use my phone on the school Wi-Fi. Rebel. Um, UCLA, I need this for the summer because I'm spending most of the summer at UCLA. And then the Duo app is also for the UCLA program that I'm doing, which I'll talk about later in another video. Then I have my shopping app. I have Etsy, which is just, I'm sure you guys have heard of it. Um, just like a ton of different cute little boutiques and like DIY things that sell stuff. Amazon, PacSun, I have my rewards thing on there. And then Dote, I've been loving Dote. You guys can follow me on Dote if you would like. I've been adding a lot of stuff onto there for summer. So it's just at Emma Romano. I only have six followers, so help a girl out. Um, then I have my travel app really, or my travel folder. Um, ski tracks, I can track all of like the times that I've skied and it'll tell me, um, Let's see, did it delete all my stuff? No, okay. It'll tell me all my stats and stuff like that. Let's see, season 20, 17, 20, 18. So this was my day that I did. 43.8 was my max speed and I skied 21 miles that day. So that was fun. Um, I have all my like airlines, Delta, Southwest, Southwest, yeah. Southwest, Alaska, JetBlue, Virgin America. Then I have Travelocity and Airbnb help with like booking hotels and stuff like that. And then Bin is tracks where I can go around the world or, or where I've been around the country and the world. So I've been to 78% of the United States. I've been to 39 out of 50 states. And then I've been to 3% of Europe and 2% of the world. So that's just a cool app that you can like look at and see where you've been. So yeah. Then I have my fangirl app, not proud of it, but whatever. Um, I have my news app that just comes with the Apple phone, but all those plugged in are like celebrity stories and stuff. 
Then I have Entertainment Tonight and E! News, which is like totally like embarrassing because those are so like tabloid, but I do get notifications for that. Same with Famous Birthdays, I get notifications when it's one of my favorite birthdays. But this next app, I lost all my data when I got a new phone, but it's really cool. I've kind of started to rebuild it, but you can make lists of movies that you want to watch and then movies that you have watched. So that is super cool. Um, IMDB is just like international movie database. Um, you can just search whatever movie, so like Mamma Mia, and it'll tell you like all the actors and stuff like that. It's super cool. I've been using this for like 12 and a half years, my entire life, you know. Then I have to play this live app because that is this weekend, and I'm very excited for that. So if you're going, hit me up, tweet me, DM me, and I would love to meet you, even though you probably don't want to meet me. Then I have just like the app that come with the phone that I really don't care about. The only one that I use in here is like podcasts. I've been listening to a lot of podcasts and wallet. I use wallet a lot for, look, this is all Fandango and movie tickets. I'm not sorry about it. Um, then I have my personal app. So Clue, I'm sure you guys can guess what that is. Um, SunTrust, which I have about 51 cents on. So you can try to hack my bank account, but it really won't be much of a success to you. Group Me is what like my school uses for group chats for like clubs, stuff like that. Pillow tracks my sleep. I never use it anymore because it's dangerous to sleep with my phone under my head. But you know, Life360, my mom can track me. That's always fun. Um, find friends, I can track my mom. So that's always fun. Not that I wouldn't know where she is, but I can track my friends. Um, Amazon Alexa just works with my Alexa that's currently unplugged because my alarm went off this morning and I was like, Alexa, stop talking or something, but she wouldn't stop talking. So I just unplugged my Alexa. So now I have to go back and reset it up. So, you know. <laughs> Then I have Gmail, which is, I usually use AOL like for my personal email, but Gmail is my YouTube email. So this is all like brand deals and stuff like that. So when brands want to reach out to me, they contact me on my Gmail. Then I have music, which is Shazam, Spotify, and Pandora. Um, I use Shazam a lot. Pandora I use sometimes, and then I never use Spotify. I prefer Apple Music, but yeah. So that is everything that is on my iPhone. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and comment down below telling me what other videos you guys want to see in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.